I've been super uninspired lately. I'm in a cycle where I only create top-down shooters, platformers, and roguelikes. And I'm getting kind of bored, to be honest. I want to try something new. Something I've never done before. So I decided to make a multiplayer first-person shooter game in Unity. I pretty much started off by implementing my own pretty basic first person controller which included player movement and jumping as well as shooting. The weapon system I implemented is pretty bare bones and has four simple and different weapons. A pistol, a shotgun, a machine gun and a sniper rifle. I also implemented a weapon temperature gauge which essentially works as the ammo and reloading. While the gauge is filling up the player can shoot, but once it's full the player will have to wait for it to cool down before shooting again. Currently, the guns don't deal any damage, but they all have their own different fire rates and weapon temps, which determines how fast they can shoot, as well as how quickly they overheat and cool down. Next up, I quickly started greyboxing a level so I could then focus on the beginnings of the networking side of code. With that all done, I got stuck into it. I set up some simple menu UI and the ability to allow players to create rooms, as well as find and join existing ones. Once all players have joined the room and the game has started, they'll both be loaded into the greybox scene, but they wouldn't actually see each other, so that was the next thing to work on. I decided to use Photon for all the networking side of things for this project. It was the one asset that I found the best reviews on, and there were a whole bunch of tutorials as well as forum posts to search through if I ever got stuck. And, with the help of the internet, getting both players visibly in the same room together was fairly easy. But this came with its issues. One person could currently control both players in the room, which isn't really what you want. This was surprisingly easy to fix, and didn't take too long, which I was really happy about. But that's all for this video. If you want to stay up to date with this project and what I'm working on, I've been posting a lot of updates on my Twitter. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.